Hey, it's a nice rainy, rainy day here in Florence, but it's break just for a minute. I'll kind of give you an out, good view of the outside of your house. So the lot goes all the way from that fence over there. There is, we're gonna look and see if you could do additional parking. Yeah, there's no utilities. That was my big concern there after we drove away and Tom was talking about that, so. There's that little shed in front of the house. And then we've got, of course, all this parking here, and then your trailer parking's gonna go right over there. So two-car garage, cement board siding, little entryway, covered entryway vestibule here, in through your front door. Luxury vinyl plank flooring. Well, okay, let's we'll call it plank flooring. Some kind of vinyl flooring. Um, cute little coat closet. I don't know if you saw that when we were here. Really nice, tall, open ceilings. Skylights. Wood stove. Um, I measured this out. I. Well, I'll have to look at my notes. It's like 14, a little over 14 by 20. And I did it just from this wall here to that wall and from that wall around all the way. So I gave you a good, including what would can be considered the hallway. I did include that in the measurements, 14 by 20. We have a dining room with a really nice little pantry right here. Kitchen, dual vanity, dual vanity, oh my goodness, dual basin sink, uh, stainless steel dishwasher, stainless steel and black electric range with a hood. And then we got all this cabinet tree here. Of course, they are taking that refrigerator, but they do have a stainless steel side-by-side -side that they are going to bring over from their other house. We're gonna do a swap out of the fridges. Laundry room, washer, dryer. Can't remember if those are included. I'm really sorry, Debbie and Darren. My brain is fried today. Little pantry here off your kitchen laundry room. Out to the garage standard 20 by 20 foot garage there is some attic access but there doesn't appear to be any stairs and the new security gate here which is also nice just to be able to have it open and have some wind protection and then we've got what is that really nice parking pad we'll take a stroll around the backyard a little So I guess the story with the fence is that it blew down in a windstorm. The neighbor right there is a contractor and he always promised he was gonna put it back up in two years and it still hasn't happened. But that is unfortunate, but an easy fix if you need it fully fenced. Um, nice tongue and groove ceiling here on the um, overhang. Nice little barbecue patio section here. And then I'll go back through the garage and we'll head out to the bedrooms. Um, both of the front bedrooms, the two front bedrooms are exactly the same size. And of course the master's significantly bigger. And I have my notes on those back here. They do have this great little wet bar, well, dry bar area, but they did add lighting over here, which is really nice. And then here's the primary suite, and it measures 15 by 15. I did include 15, including that little kick out there, which is two and a half feet deep. So a little kick out adds a total of 15, which gives you a grand total of 15 from there all the way across and then 15 from here, over here. Dual closets, we've got one closet there and one closet there. Into the primary bathroom, 
dual vanity. It's a really large bathroom with that great step in. Looks like a fiberglass or, oh no, it's like Corian. Corian with a fiberglass. Um, oh well, there you go. Brain fried. I really apologize. Um, a fiberglass um, basin with a Corian surround. Whew, brain is working overtime here. Thank goodness you two are part of my friend circle. <laughs> Anyway, we've got a great little linen closet here in the hall. And then these bedrooms are exactly the same size at 9, 2 by 11 something. So great little bedroom here. They've got it set up as an office with closet over there. Whole full bath here. Single vanity tub and shower surround. Also that kind of Corian type material there. And then the last of the bedrooms. There we go. And a good size closet there. So lots of storage in this house. I'm gonna get you the measurements of those secondary bedrooms. They are 910 by 112. The primary bedroom, including that little kickoff right there, is 15 by 15, and the living room measures approximately 20 by 14.